All right, it's time to uh, get back to work on this. Get my dog, get my dog on my sculpting stand. This is gonna be the last day I'm gonna be working in my studio till I get back from Texas. I'm leaving Wednesday of next week. And because of that, let me get this screwed down before I finish. Because of that, I've got to pack and get ready for my trip. I'm gonna to try to get as much done today as I can. I don't know how much I'll get done. Um, like I said, I'm just, just trying to get things started here. I'm going to attempt to do the fur. They don't have a lot of fur, but it looks like most of the fur is around the neck area. And so that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. It's just basically sketching the fur around the neck for now. Get all this stuff off the sculpting table because it'll be flying off as I twirl through the damn thing. And let's get this all put there out of the way. Because all I'm going to use is my fingers right now. I'm trying to uh, make an armature for the tail. And uh, my thinking is that his tail would be down. And uh, the reason I say that is because I, when a dog is in a fear or aggressive or a defensive uh, stance, uh, his tail will go down and there, it won't be moving, it won't be wagging it because he's not happy to see something, he's angry or, or, or he doesn't know quite what is coming. And so that's what I'm going to do is just uh, put the tail down. I think that'll look good. At least I hope it does. If anybody out there knows dogs and they have a an opinion about this, I'd sure like to hear it. And I believe his fur would probably stand up on his back too a little bit. Not a lot of fur, but I think that just uh, is a defensive mode to uh, try to make their body look a little bit bigger than what it is. But I'm not certain on that. It would be on the uh, hips and on the shoulders that it would go up. I used to have a book that showed the fur on dogs and how it was constructed, actually on a wolf. And uh, I just can't find that book to save my neck. Probably loaned it to somebody years ago and forgot who I loaned it to. Now as far as the breed of this dog, um, a camp dog it's not a they don't go into uh, pedigrees in a camp they're probably a mix of uh, all kinds of animals or dogs and maybe a little wolf here and there too so I'm not too worried about being super accurate as far as a Carolina dog goes but uh, would like to have it close
you know that I'm just using my fingernail for a, a sculpting tool here. Another tool back here that I often use for this type of thing too, where I can't reach or twist my hand any more than I already have. It's harder probably to do a short-haired dog than a uh, long-haired dog. Just make him a scroungy old mutt of a dog. Scroungy but lovable. I'm not unhappy with this at all. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. From every angle, it looks good right now. I took out that extra piece of wood because I realized the paws do line up with the ground. And if I was to uh, make them uh, higher than the ground, I'd have to change everything else. So I'm uh, liking the direction of everything. Well, it's something I'm going to have to do when I get back. And uh, while I'm down there in Texas, I'll... Uh, Go to local bookstores down there and see if I can find some stuff on Carolina dogs. It's just too far to travel to try to buy anything here because of the fact that uh, everything's about 120 mile round trip away. I think I will.